In this video we will talk about vibrating wire piezometer. This is Encardiorite model EPP40V slim size piezometer. It is specially designed to be used for monitoring pore water pressure. The vibrating wire piezometer consists of a magnetic high tensile strength stretched wire, one end of which is fixed to the sensor body and the other end is fixed to a diaphragm that deflects in proportion to applied pressure. Any change in pressure deflects the diaphragm proportionally and this in turn affects the tension and resonant frequency of the stretched wire. The sensor has 4 pin glass to metal seal through which required length of 4 core cable can be connected to the sensor. The signal transmitted through cable is read by model EDI-51V vibrating wire readout unit. Piezometer is also provided with a thermista for temperature readings. The red and black cores are for frequency signal while green and white are for thermistor readings. Connect the sensor's 4 core cable to data logger by using crocodile clips. For taking measurement, the wire inside the vibrating wire sensor needs to be plucked or excited to start the vibrations. The readout unit first excites the wire with a square wave signal. This causes the wire to start vibrating at its own natural vibration frequency which is known as the resonant frequency. The readout unit basically measures the time period of the resonant frequency and calculates frequency. The unit has a circular splash-proof 3-pin connector for battery charger and a 7-pin connector for sensor input and RS-232C serial interface port. The vibrating wire piezometers are most common as its frequency output is immune to external noise. Also the sensor is able to tolerate wet wiring common in geotechnical applications and is capable of transmitting signals to long cable lengths. Switch on the data logger by pressing the key marked on off on the lower right hand side of the keypad. As soon as you turn on the power switch, the display will flash few messages like model number, version number, a self-test message, date, and time. After the power on sequence messages, the readout unit displays the sensor reading in frequency hertz. It can also display value in frequency square. For getting poor pressure in engineering units, calibration coefficients like initial reading, gauge factor, and unit symbol have to be entered in the indicator setup memory. If you slowly apply pressure to the diaphragm, you can see change in frequency readings. So this is how the poor pressure can be measured with vibrating wire piezometer. Thank you for watching this video. For more details please visit us at www.encardio.com.